Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ryan from the Goose Hummock, and today we are gonna talk about bowling on a budget. All right guys, so schoolie season is fast approaching. Um, if you're like me, and you don't got too, um, too much money to spend during um, the pandemic, buying too much food and some other stuff. Um, we're just gonna talk about some cheap, effective lures and a few reels and some other terminal tackle that is very inexpensive, but also very effective. Um, one of my favorite things to throw for um, schoolies um, during these um, during the start of the spring is uh, bucktails. Um, any color is fine. Pink, chartreuse, white is probably my favorite personally. Uh, another one of my favorites that is cheap and also effective um, for schoolies is um, the Savage Gear Sand Deal. Um, I really like the ghost um, color. Um, white's also fine. Black at night. Um, they make some other sand deal colors as well, which are really effective. Um, another one which um, came out last year, which I'm starting to really like, especially the bigger ones, are the Voodoo Shads. Um, you get a three for pack um, at around eight bucks. So that's pretty effective. And another reason why I like these a lot is, oh, look at that, you can't rip it. So Bluefish, other two critters, if you happen to hook into that Unicorn weak fish, it's not gonna, um, it's not gonna tear a tail. This is I'm pulling that really hard, nothing's breaking. All right, so um, we're gonna talk about some plugs here that I really like for schoolies. And I use these no matter what time of the year it is for striped bass. Um, one of my favorites um, is the Head and Super Spook. I highly recommend taking off the trebles. This just came straight out of the pack, so I didn't have a time to modify it. It's got three trebles on it. You really do not need that many hooks for uh, striped bass, just maybe one or two at most. Um, another lure um, that I fall in love with recently is the Yozuri Hydra Minnow, around 10 bucks as well. A lot, lot um, it's a shallow running plug, shallower than the SP Minnow, which I'm going to talk about in a second, but it's also cast very far. Um, another reason why I like this more, not more, but I do like prefer this over the SP Minnow, is because the hardware is significantly better on it. And transition that to the SP Minnow, which I do like using more in rougher water. Um, I think it does cast a little bit better than Hydra Minnow and it probably dives around three to four feet. This is I'm probably going to say like one to three. Um, depends how slow you're reeling. But you're probably going to be reeling pretty slow um, first like few weeks of May up here in the Cape. Um, but I know a lot of the Jersey guys, um, Connecticut, New York, they're going to start fishing in the next few weeks. Um, for top water, Tsunami Talking Popper, this lure um, for $11 is the versatile because you can fish it just like a Polaris popper, and just do a pop, 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 or you can actually work it just like a pencil popper. You work it really fast. You see people use these at the canal all the time. Um, very effective work. Um, for bluefish, albies, bones, and even stripers too. People don't use metals for stripers as much as they used to. Um, deadly thick, um, $12, look, very effective, very well casting lure. Um, I probably wouldn't use this during the schoolie season necessarily as much, but like once the bluefish start coming in on the south side of the cave, very effective. I'm going to talk about some terminal, go terminal gear real quick. Um, this is the new Seaguar Inshore fluorocarbon. I prefer, I'm liking this for the balling on the budget series because not only um, it's effective, you get 100 yards per spool, unlike the blue label, gold label, red label, or all yellow labels, which come with usually 25 to 30 yards. This has 100. Um, we're still going to test it out. We have not actually field tested this yet, so, but um, I'm really excited about it. I'm definitely going to be using it for schoolies. Um, some other effective wars that I use for um, for schoolies that are going to be on the cheap, relatively cheaper side are these uh, Bass Assassins. Um, Rig these with a weightless hook around weed edges, oyster beds, so you don't get hung up. Um, you can use these for fresh water as well. Very effective. You get four per pack for around six to, um, six to eight bucks. All right, so now we're gonna transition to, we're gonna start talking about a few reels. Um, I think we, people have already talked about the Die with BG a lot, so we're gonna kind of skip that, um, not leave it in the video. Um, that's a, I think the Die with BG, it's, um, probably one of the best reels for long term money, hands down. But I'm gonna to talk to you about two other reels that are really effective. This one I actually have, this is the, this is a Shimano Nasky. Um, it retails for around a 120, 130. Um, I think Nasky in Japan um, is strong but light. So it's a very strong reel, it's very light, very durable. I've had mine for about a few years now with a significant amount of fish on it, no issues. Um, just make sure you wash and um, clean it after every trip. It'll, 
sealed, but still just gotta be careful. Um, another reel that's a little bit cheaper, but it's still effective and gets the job done is the Tsunami Shield. Um, you can't beat the shield for the price at one or nine. Um, same deal with the um, Nasty, just you have to rinse and wash it after every trip. Um, if the bearings do wear out, once you start catching a lot of fish, um, a lot of charter guys use this reel, um, outsource it out to their clients, um, but it gets the job done and is a very, um, very good reel for the price. All right, that will conclude um, this short segment video. Um, we're gonna start shooting our um, other videos for the canal soon and some other videos as well. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.